This is John Mulligan. I'm reporting from Search Engine Strategies San Jose 2009, and I'm here with Alex and Rajesh from Bing. So guys, your search engine just launched, and I want to talk to you first about the API functionality that you've built in. Uh, who's the program open to? Well, the short answer is everyone. Everyone okay. that uh, wants to use the search engine results in their application or in their website to do something cool, something innovative. The API is open. All they have to do is go to http www.bing.com slash developers, register for their application ID, and um, they can immediately be in business uh, by using the, all the different protocols that we support. So they can use REST, they can use SOAP, they can use RSS to call our API, get the results, uh, and use them freely as long as they respect uh, our terms of use. There's no set limit uh, in terms of amount of traffic that they can send us. There's only a set of uh, kind of uh, hygiene rules that they have to respect that are pretty simple and straightforward. And how do you see the community functionality that the community functionality that you guys have uh, that you guys have already built uh, tying in with people's innovations from uh, the API? Of course, people can do anything, mm -hmm. but where do you see some uh, big opportunities of growth being? Well, see, uh, what is interesting is that, uh, and what I love about building platforms is that you never know uh, what great ideas and what great innovation people can create. And uh, we're constantly surprised by uh, how people can be creative and uh, using our API. Let me just make an example. Mm -hmm. Career Builder a few months ago built an application that uses the content of the uh, Bing search engine to enrich the information that they provide about uh, recruiters, uh, to recruiters about a candidate. So they get an input, a resume, and uh, they go and collect a lot of more data about uh, uh, the, the candidate that this resume represents just by going out and using the API. And to be honest, I wouldn't even have dreamt about a scenario like that. And mm -hmm. this is what I love about it, that you're having pretty much the entire knowledge of the world at your disposal to do anything you want. That's pretty wild. And so that, and so that's what you have from. So now we're getting into like the web developer side of things. I want to talk about the tools you've built for webmasters. So everyone always, uh, from the search engine side of point of view, uh, is trying to cater to webmasters so that they can get more improved results. Uh, how is Bing better than Google, say, uh, in terms of its webmaster tools, Rajesh? Well, that's that's a great question. I think uh, some there are some of the goals we have while designing the tools. Number one is transparency. We want to be very transparent with the webmaster community uh, as to what we can provide, what is the plan, and how it could add value. Number two is uh, keep adding new feature set. Uh, keep adding, keep argumenting the reports, and be uh, more and more proactive with the community. So that is number three. And I think these are the three key points uh, that I would take take back with the webmaster community is being transparent. Uh, not only we are talking about uh, how we can engage with them, but we are listening to them. Um, we just had a phenomenal session with uh, uh, on Bing where we got some tremendous feedback from, from the community. We're going to take that feedback back to our uh, product teams and us and, and look at how we can add that in the pipeline. Uh, so that's number one. We are transparent about number two, we keep adding features. So there are uh, features set that you won't find in other webmaster tools, uh, for example, uh, some of the backlink functionality, some of the outbound link functionality, you, you, won't found in other, you won't find in other webmaster tools, which we have, and, and we want to provide more and more of those features uh, to our community. Number three is um, webmaster area, webmaster portal is, is a great place for us to get feedback. Webmasters are very deeply involved with, with search engines, very deeply involved with their content, so they are at the perfect spot where they could tell us for their content how could we make sure that it gets indexed and it gets indexed in the right way and it gets surfaced in the right way for search engines. So we want to connect with them and I think these are the three uh, key areas I would say we differentiate. So it sounds like you're building your platform uh, on the advice of webmasters. Does, so, do, so, does that, so does that mean the flexibility that you're adding there? Uh, do, do people have to learn a special Bing language in order, to in order to talk to your search engine? Or is it 
very much tailored uh, in order to be uh, open and easy for the webmasters. Uh, our goal is to be open and easy, not just for webmaster, but uh, a seasoned webmaster, but even for a person who is just uh, being from uh, being from a developer turning over to webmaster, mm -hmm. or just uh, a general person who just want to add a sitemap, who doesn't, a small business who just wants to add a sitemap, he doesn't have a webmaster. So the way we are building our, we already have built the portal, it's, it's perfectly easy to use people can a, a person who just knows a little bit about uh, how internet works what's the sitemap could go and upload the sitemap so no we are not looking at creating another scripting language or api or what have you but make it easy and simple for our for our webmasters as well for our users great thanks a lot and thanks so much for talking to us thank you we look forward to hearing more about bing of course in the coming months thank you and we'll be reporting more from Search Engine Strategies San Jose 2009. Stay tuned.